G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to Imperion once again in the brand new Alpha 9.55 update that only just came out the other day. And I'm very excited to be back in Imperion because I have been doing a lot of work outside of filming, basically because I was waiting for the drone attack to show up. Everyone's been telling me that as soon as I power up my base, drones are gonna, are gonna come and try and destroy both me and my base pretty quick smart. So I've been sitting here waiting for the 10 minute warning that I was told I would get to say the drones are inbound. When that happened, I was gonna get out of the game, start filming so that I could cut out all like the boring shit in between and go straight to that. And I've been sitting here for a very long time. I've also been, I've been using my time to uh, create more concrete blocks and windows and stuff. Like, look, I've got so many concrete blocks now because I uh, need to rebuild my base later on. But I've been sitting here waiting for the drones and they never, ever showed up. So I was like, why the dick haven't any drones showed up? They were supposed to show up pretty, uh, pretty quick smart when I powered up my base. And it turns out... That's not a thing anymore. Unless I go piss off some alien race that starts with a Z somewhere, or go piss off some drones at a POI or something, drone attacks just aren't a thing now, according to forums and stuff. Who knows? Maybe they're lying. Maybe as soon as I get comfortable, a big wave of drones will show up and push my shit right back into my butthole. But until that happens, I'm going to work on the assumption that they are correct and there is no more drone attacks. So with that in mind, and with all the materials I need to build a bigger and better base currently being created, I thought I may as will continue on with like the basic tutorial of this game and start to build my hover vessel which is something that people have been telling me to do for a while now like i've got my motorbike i'm a big fan of my motorbike i feel like it does everything i've ever wanted to do oh that's a mean look. i always forget how mean the chainsaw looks but given that this is you know a space game uh, you can't go into space on a motorbike unless you have a really really big jump so i am going to make myself a that's not the search bar that's the search bar Hover, hover. It's going to be in here somewhere, I think. Where's the hover vessel starter? Hover vessel starter? Not there. Why can't I find it? It's got to be in here somewhere. Oh, I'm not a very smart man. Look, there it is right there. Okay, make me one of those, if you please. I could also make myself the small vessel starter. Now, that's probably going to come up later. So let's make one of those as well while we're here. Why not? I've got plenty of things that I can build with. So I may as well just get ready for the next stage. A hover vessel starter right there. That's going to go off to my uh, my storage. I can't wait to rebuild this base. So that's that's going to be the next thing I do, I think. Because that's going to take a lot of work to kind of like fix up the foundations and shit. But rebuilding this base to give myself some more usable space and stop using like walls and windows and things that take up an entire block but only look like they take up this much which is very very infuriating i can't wait to have my base bigger and better and more imperion size which is i need to start thinking bigger when it comes to this so where did you put it where is my starter now nope, just just not here did i do something wrong why aren't you in here or you're not crafted yet maybe Maybe you're not crafty. Maybe I got way too ahead of myself. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just got it out of there. And then it popped up saying it was done. That's the wrong one. Let's go into here. Where is it? There it is. Okay. I have that. What did, what did you just tell me? You told me something. Uh, hover vessel. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, craft a cockpit. I guess I have to do everything through the large constructor. Cockpit, hover thrusters, generator, fuel tank. I have the fuel tank already. That's one of the first things I did. Built the wrong fucking fuel tank because I'm an idiot. Uh, so let's see. I need a cock. <laughs> I need a cock. Well, there you go. There we go. Cockpit. I might make two of those because I assume I'll need it for the small vessel as well. In fact, let's just double check that. Uh, let's go back into there and go cock. Always searching for my cock. Uh, that can be used on the small vessel and the hover vessel. Two of those. That seems about right. We're also going to need some hover thrusters. Hover thruster. Got all the parts for you as well. Hover engine one by one. Place for hover vehicle. Place for hover vehicle. So what's the difference between you? One by one or just the green one? I don't, I, I don't know. Whatever. Give me that one because that's all I need for now. I'm not going to make an extra one because I don't know if I need that for the small vessel or not. Uh, generator. Ge gen I'm getting everything. This is the best thing about the crafting in Imperion. You can get everything out of the way in one go. You don't have to worry about all the small steps. Just say the big steps and it will make it happen for you. Water generator. Don't need that. Small generator for uh, capital vessel or base. Don't need that. Generator, small vessel, hover vessel, two of those, wham bam, thank you ma'am. Oh, that's most of my shit done already. God, it's good. So it's still asking me to craft the fuel tank, which is fine, because I'm going to need a second one for my uh, small vessel anyway. Fuel, fuel tank. So I already got one of these. 
uh, capital vessel or base, that's one on the floor. This is one I built previously, so I just need to build one more of those while that's building to satisfy the tutorial. I know I can like click on the thing in my tutorial and say I already did it, but ah, whatever, doesn't matter. I also like that that is a functionality. That's not my storage. This is my storage. Okay, I need you. I don't need you yet. Uh, God, I wish there was a way to sort all this shit. Capacitor drive. Um, what else have I got in here? Thrusters. Generator. Where is the generator? There it is. Uh, thrusters copy starter. And fuel tank, which is there. All right. We are good and golden. Let's go place my hover vessel starter somewhere. Does this have to be on, like, flat ground? I feel like this might need to be on relatively flat ground. Can I get up on the roof? I can't want to build a start set of stairs up to the roof and place it all up there. That might be what I... Oh, but then I have to destroy it all later. The roof of my base anyway. This is the this is the problem. I, can't, I hate making decisions. Making decisions is hard and absolutely not my strong suit. I've gone across the river from my base. I don't know how big this thing is going to be. And I don't want to accidentally build it on a slope or like in the water or anything. So just there. That'll do. Created a hover vessel. Okay, cool. Let's get rid of all this shit. Don't need that in my inventory right now. I need you and you and you and you. Probably need to take all of it, but that's okay. Uh, what's what was What was the first step? Probably the... Oh my god, the cockpit's massive. Okay, I, I probably could have done this better. Uh huh. I really could have done this better. Did I put that thing down in the wrong way? I, I, I don't I don't know. I'm scared now. I'm scared of putting this down wrong and ruining everything. But you know what? Fuck it. Just don't think. Just just do. Can I put this right on the front so it lines up at the front? Boom. That'll have to do. If I've cooked this, I'll disassemble and try again later. There you are. I've given myself an extra couple of thrusters because it said in the tutorial that I needed like at least, uh, usually at least two, but the more you put on there, the more you'll need. So I've got four thrusters just in case. I've got some cargo there. And was there anything else here that I needed? Uh, I've got my fuel. I think that's about it. No, wait, no, no. Uh, the other thing, uh, the most important thing that I came over here for, everything else was just kind of a bonus. Uh, where have you put it? A combat steel box. Where's the, the regular? I'm making a whole bunch of steel blocks. Where are they? Why, why, why can I not find them? Am I just going blind? Are they right in front of me? And I'm just not looking for them? There they are. I was going blind. They were right in front of me the whole time. Oh, man. See, like, this is the thing that I try and get across in like every video I ever make. The game itself is very rarely my enemy. I am my own enemy. And I'm freaking good at being that. So these blocks are really, really tiny. Okay, that's fine. Well, let's... um. Well, the first things first, I need to make the nose cone look kind of cool. So we need to get one of these, I think. Oh man, this is gonna, this is gonna take me a while. This is gonna take me a long while. You give me the opportunity to start building shit, and especially when they're all like tiny little pixels. I'm going to be here for about six years. What do I actually need here? Is it this one? I think is that the one that's gonna fit? No, it's not. It's not sharp enough. Oh man. Man, this is this is the rest of my life right here. I finally got the nose cone looking semi-respectable. So now I'm starting to think. In fact, I've got them. Oh, I've got some back in my base. I have to go get that. Now I'm starting to think maybe it'd be a good idea if I I should have built this closer to closer to my base. It's gonna take me forever to walk back and forth all the freaking time. But I've got these laser turrets that I picked up in my adventures in in between like when I was waiting for these drones to show up. So if I get these laser turrets, like I couldn't use them on my base, but I can't remember if I could use them on the hover vehicle. So I'm gonna try and do that. In fact, given that the sun literally just set, I might even actually you know what? No, I'm gonna go sleep in one nice cozy bed inside. None of this sleeping under the stars for me. I have a nice gig well, no, 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 gigantic. I have this nice, relatively small base here with a nice comfy bed inside. So I might just sleep here, find my laser turrets, and see if I can put one of those on the front of my hover vessel. Ah, the laser turrets are only placeable on a capital vehicle, which is uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, well, there's got to be something out there, something a uh, hover vessel. Is there turrets like a Gatling gun? Well, like, well, why not? Might as well start unlocking shit. I've got points to spend for days. I may as well make the most of it. While I'm here, I can put a fridge. I can put a fridge on my hover uh, vessel. Absolutely. You know what? Let's, let's unlock the Gatling gun. Let's unlock the fridge. Let's unlock the spotlight. Let's. It's like Need for Speed Underground when you come in with all the money in the world because you've been using your starting MX5 for the entire time. You can come in with all your points and just unlock everything and absolutely deck out your hover vehicle like like RCS. I've played Kerbal Space Program enough to know that that's uh, useful. Let's get one of those. Thrust to S. Uh, hover engine one by one. Harvest module. Passenger seats. There's so many good things. Oh, detector. That also seems important. Give me that one too. Oh, I can't quite do it. I have my minigun turret, but I want to put it right on the nose. And it's almost big enough, but I just can't quite get underneath to place it where I want it to go. What if I stand all the way back here? 
Wait, oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh mate, drunky drone. Can you can you do it for me? Can you get down low enough? Can you squeeze your way into that nice little gap? Right here, please. No, you absolute absolute sausage. You drunken drone. You got no value to anyone, but it looks like it's about the right size. It's only one block. It could totally do that. It could totally do that. I want that. I want three minigun turrets, because I splurged and bought the minigun turrets instead of the Gatling gun. I want one on the front and one on each of the wings. That's what I need. That's what I want. So maybe I'll wait to put them on until later. At the meantime, I'll probably just focus on continuing to build the rest of my uh, my ship out. For example, what do I need now? I need hover thrusters. Well, where, are they, where are they gonna go? Probably right on the back. I'll give myself some upgraded ones, because why wouldn't I? Uh, just, how do I, how do I know which way's down? Which way do they, f shit. I'm just gonna assume that they're like, uh, uh, placed the right way to start with, and just put a couple in there. Let's put the rest of these blocks down, please. There, there, and there. If I had known that like, it was this like tedious, I would have built myself like, you know, like when you go into like a mechanics garage and they have like the lift, like a lift your car up so you can get underneath and do that kind of stuff. If I had known it was like this, I would have built myself a freaking hover vessel lift. That'd make my life so, so much better. Okay, now I've got that done though. I can continue to come back. Is there bigger pieces? Is there something out here I can use to build bigger parts of this all in one go? Replacing like pixel by pixel is gonna take the freaking life out of me. I'm not building walls anymore, that's all bullshit. I almost forgot about the whole reason building an Imperion is a good idea, and that is the click and drag placing fun functionality. So all the way up like that, that will be fine. I don't know how big I'm supposed to be making this thing. I might have made it a little bit too big already, but given, I mean, this is the thing. I always think I'm making things too big, but if I learned anything about Hyperion lately, it's that I always need to think like 10 times Times bigger than I'm used to. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's just let's just double down. Let's go all in. We're gonna go all the way back to about here and put some thrusters on the back here. And then probably the back of the ship even so uh, even still as far back as it is going. Because I want this thing to be a testament to how big I can think now. So you're there. Let's get another couple of thrusters. Four little tiny thrusters. I feel like probably aren't gonna do much for me. But whatever. That's where it's gonna start now. I mean that looks about right. Right? That, I mean, if you judge by the size of the cockpit, that seems relatively small. I mean, we're just ignoring the size of my base because it's like piddly winks over there. This, this should be right. I'm, I'm confident with this. I've got my generator safely stashed in like this sarcophagus of steel over here to keep it nice and safe. I'm going to do the same thing with the fuel tank. I don't need to actually access the fuel tank directly, do I? Uh, like if I, uh, am I actually looking at the right thing? Power, yeah, that looks fine. So if I go like manage there... Yeah, hover vessel. I can fill it up. I just have to actually access the fuel tank directly at any point, which is fine. Um, I need to make this look nice and sleek, though. In fact, what does the storage look like? If I put this... Oh, it's a, storage is only tiny! I was expecting so much more. Oh, wait, hang on. Do I get more uh, energy in capacity? Well, capacity 125, 250, 250. So I need, I need one of these big boys, like this one, which is only still not very big. I mean, that's okay. You know what? Let's just put you... Uh, we'll put a steel wall in between each of the components to make things safe, just like that. And then all the way back, oh, I, need to make, I need to start thinking about this like streamlining. I need to start like, thinking about how, I kind of did build this bit, a bit big, didn't I? Huh, it's a little bit bigger than I probably needed it to be. I may have fucked up. We should all take a moment to thank the Lord of Imperion in our hopes and prayers that he gave me a multi-tool so I can pick all that shit back up again once I figure out how big it needs to be. So these ones all need to be nice and safe, which is fine. Uh, get my regular cube back out. If I could stop jetpacking over the freaking vessel, that would be great. Oh man, I need to take off my heavy arm before I start doing this shit. It is not easy to move around when I every time I tap spacebar, I'm moving for like 14 feet in the air or about 14 inches. Neither of those can like particularly help me here. So far, reasonably so good. I have built myself a train. I have a hover train. It's not really what I wanted. I mean, I know I probably don't need wings like to make like a hovercraft, but I kind of want one. I want it to be like streamlined and look like really cool and stuff. I'm thinking too much like spaceship as opposed to just like. A, a hovercraft, a nice wide thing with lots of storage on it. Like this, this is kind of all I need right now, I think. But I am going to need some sort of wings. Because if I want my triple minigun turret like firing power, I'm going to need somewhere to put those other miniguns. In fact, I'm getting very, very hungry. Quickly just eat some of these. This is why you always bring around your energy bars. I eat another one. And then while we're at it, let's run, run over here and grab some more. You know what? Because you can just keep making more and more energy bars out and about on this planet.
So where are the wings going to go? And more importantly, how am I going to make said wings? Are they going to go, like, just use one of these things? And just go, like, with, like that kind of thing straight out of there? I, I, uh, I don't know, Davey. This is, this is the tough decisions that I'm not good at making. Before I get too carried away, I'm going to retrieve... Oh, uh, fuck it. Might as well retrieve all of it now. See if I accidentally shot the next one. Retrieve these, because I did also make myself some thrusters, which uh, can help me get around a little bit better, I think. So, like, that's... Which way, which way Which way? is the fast way? Exhaust danger is that way. Which means if I stand over here, that should be the right way, I think. That looks about the right way. I mean, that's that's the way I would, I would imagine that. The exhaust goes back, which just pushes you forward. That's the way an engine works. So hopefully it works that way for me. I, I don't know. Either this is going to go really badly or really well for me. Put you all there. Seal it all up and make it all look nice and pretty. That's fine. I should probably put... So, like, you can get, like, the little walls. I'd probably, like, use the little steel walls to go like this and just protect the, um, protect my investment in the thrusters a little bit. That seems like a good idea. At some point, I should probably really figure out, uh, the, apparently there's a symmetricality tool in this game, which is half the reason I started to come, uh, play it in the first place. Because I was like, that's exactly what I want in my life. I want a tool that makes everything symmetrical. Because that, <laughs> that looks fucking wicked. Let's keep building this out just a little bit, all the way out like this. I don't need that much space for the, uh, for the actual turrets themselves. They're reasonably okay doing their thing, uh, because they're relatively small. What if I go all the way down like this and look up like there? That's exactly what I wanted. That is exactly what I wanted this whole time. Are you are you going to be nice and like sit underneath here? I mean, I probably didn't need the extra little kicker out the game, but it, it looks nice with that out there, I think. You know what? I can put, even put it... Yeah, let's just put it like there. That will be fine. That looks sick. That is exactly what I wanted. It's right in the center of that wing. This looks like a ship. It's going to act like a ship. And I am shipping this ship. I went home and first of all slept the night, but also went home and made everything that I've unlocked for my hover vessel in here, I now have with me. So like the RCS and the O2 tank, uh, the harvest module, and there's also uh, this thing, the detector. And the reason that I went and made my detectors, is I'm holding it here, is because I think if I get that and I quickly grab one of, uh, actually how... How, how do I want to do this? Which, what kind of block do I want on the very end here that's going to make it look just right? I don't know. I don't know. This is the, uh, I have trouble. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to put that like that. Because I'm overthinking it just a little bit. And I'm going to put this like that. We're going to go full like Star Wars with like laser guns on the outside. They're not laser guns. They're detectors. I have two of them. I don't think I actually need two of them. But I have two of them all for aesthetics. Look at that. That looks freaking wicked. I got my thrusters on the back. I got my laser guns on the side. The dark laser guns. I got my Gatling guns underneath. In fact, I need to put a Gatling gun. This is this is where that symmetricality tool would definitely come in handy because I don't want to get this wrong. I think it was. Hang on, I need to. I need to investigate. I need to figure out exactly where I placed this. Uh, let's see. So the back of it. The back of it. Which way is the easiest way for me to figure this out? Um, huh. Right. Okay. So it's the block forward from the very back. That makes sense. And it is, what, one, one, two blocks in from the side, I think? Yeah, on the second block from the side. Okay, this, this is the difficult thing. I'm going to get this wrong. I'm going to hate myself. Easy, easy. Not, okay, no, so not there. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared I'm going to get this wrong. Uh, no, not there, not there. Fuck it, right there. Is that right? Did I do it right? It's, it looks like it's one block from the back. It's definitely one block from the side. Is the is this one is this one Oh I did it right! Yes, Josh! See? You panic enough, eventually you might just like ask your way into doing it the right way. Oh, this is really coming together. I love this. I feel like I have absolutely made the wrong kind of ship for the wrong class of ship. I mean, this looks like a space fighter plane. This is this does not look like a hover vessel at all. It's going to be a hover vessel, but it, it doesn't look like it's like, it doesn't look like a hovercraft. It's probably what I should have made instead. I got, I got carried away just a little bit, as I often do when I'm actually building stuff. I've got some other things I want to add to this, like some spotlights and stuff. I just need to find a good place to put them so maybe like on top of the wings, like just up here, if I can find a way to get that to actually blend into it, I guess. Ooh, spotlight slope. Is that gonna, is that gonna face forward? I, I, I don't know. I feel like it's not gonna do what I want it to do. I feel like this will not shine directly ahead. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm asking the wrong questions and it's giving me answers to something I didn't ask about. Like that. That's not gonna shine straight ahead, is it? Probably not. Damn it. Oh, I can put one right on the front, actually. 
That's probably not a bad idea. Get some, get some actual like light out here. Uh, let's get rid of this block right on the nose and put a spotlight in its place like that. Boop, there we go. Look at that. That's a good little nose you could boop. I think we're just about done. I, I figured out... Oh, God, I'm, I'm dying of no food. I think I figured out why I decided to make a fighter jet instead of an actual hovercraft. That's because the, the cockpit looks like a fighter jet. It does. I mean, this looks sick. It's the wrong kind of shit, but it still looks bloody awesome. So, now that everything is in place, I think it's time I powered it on. It's working. Hop in and give it a spin. Congratulations, you built your first vessel. Cheers, big ears. Uh, Phil? Oh, there we go. Can I, can I, is, that all the, is that all the fuel I had? I had a couple of them sitting on me. Doesn't matter though, because it is up and it is running. Uh, is there a way for me to get this to go up a little bit? Uh, pilot? Yep, please stop the ship to exit the cockpit. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go forward, you Jeffrey. This way. Uh-oh, we're going to the water. I've made a mistake. I'm sliding down the hill. I don't know how to power up. Uh... Oxygen, everything, everything is on. So, ow, ow, that's the, that's the ground. I don't know how to make it work. No! So weirdly, I'm not sure how, but I've managed to install my thrusters backwards despite, like I can't go forwards, but I can go backwards relatively easily. So I've definitely done something wrong. I don't understand that. The, it had arrows on it saying exhaust went that way. So I pointed it backwards the way I wanted it to go. And apparently that was the wrong way. I don't know, it's all very confusing, but now I am stuck over this bloody lake and I can't get out of here. We need to get onto land so I can turn this thing off so I can get out there and fix it. That, that, this'll do, this'll do. Uh, you know what, let's just go, you know what, thank you very much, but no thank you. Let's just power off there. Not a very graceful landing and trying to fix this shit. Yep, right. They uh, actually look like thrusters now. Before, they didn't look uh, quite like that, but that's okay. Uh, I need to get my wall back and go like there and go to the other side and put one on the other side. I need to, I need to protect these things. These are, these are the weak zones. I can't have these things out there getting shot up and damaged all the time. That would be bad. Let's get rid of this one. Um, hmm... Wait a second, let me let, let me think. Give me a second. Get rid of that one as well. I'm gonna go here. Oh, wait, I still have the, the I do have the wall. I'm gonna spin it around to like that, protect the thing down the bottom, and then we're gonna go one of these things and put that like the right way. If I could get there, we go that way. So now there is actually a way, like you know, a, a, an air intake. You can't have a thruster without an air intake. That's just a good way to store your engine. And listen, you know, I know that it's Imperion and it's make believe, and I don't actually have to give it air for it to function. But I like to make, I like to think that the ships I make make sense. It's got an intake. It's got an outlet. It's got everything the Kerbal Space Program told me that I needed. So it should be relatively good to go. Turn you on. Are we all good now? Now can I drive you forwards? Let's, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. It looks like it. I don't like having to steer with the mouse, but this will do. Oh, ow. Excuse me. Can I go? I'm underwater. Uh, my hover vessel doesn't hover very well. Uh-oh. This is bad. Get get out of the... Oh, get out of the... Way. Oh, God. I'm going to drown in my own ship. There we go. Everything's working now as a treat, as a charm. That is exactly what I wanted. However, I have just realized, uh, given that I was out on top of the um, the ocean, I tried to use my harvester, which I put in the middle of my ship like an idiot. It's just, it's, it's trying to dig up my ship. I thought that like I could just go over the top of trees and pick up shit. Turns out that is not how that works at all. So I completely wasted my time with that, but that's okay. You, you can't win them all. You know, I'm going to have to put uh, maybe the harvester on the front and just like fill up that gap in the middle with Oh shit, with some normal blocks. God, my camera is on its tits today. Can, can we not? Can we not go back to the water, please? Can we turn? Oh, I wish I didn't have to turn with the mouse. I don't oh, there's dinosaurs and shit. Run! <laughs> Who's making all that noise? Oh, it's a big cockroachy thing. Okay, that's fine. I should really put some ammo in this thing. I think maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I need to get like some RCS boosters or something so I can actually control this a little bit better. Because the moment it's just working exactly how you'd expect like a rocket ship to work. Harvest box missing, incoming materials will be ejected. Oh, I need to make a harvest box as well. So this is the thing, I'm, I'm learning as I go. You didn't tell me to make that shit, so I, I just didn't. Okay, let's get my... Am I going to be able to get this thing back over to where I need it to be? It's hard to fly this thing when the only direction I can move is straight ahead. All right, you know what? It's been a little while. I'm going to have to leave this episode here, but for a first attempt at making a ship, I'm pretty happy with that. Sure, it looks like a fighter. That's fine. It looks cool. It's not a ho I mean, it is a hovercraft. It doesn't look like a hovercraft, but hey, who has to, like, you know, conform to these design norms? Who said a hovercraft have to look like the stereotypical hovercraft? Oh, my hovercraft look like a fighter jet. You got a problem with that? Take it up with someone who cares, because it's not me. But that does look really, really cool. There's some things I need to do 
do with it, like add some RCS to it so I could actually move left, right, up, down, and all that kind of stuff, and not just go straight ahead like a plane, even though it is un. I mean, look, look, look at these wings. They're going to provide about as much lift as my ass cheeks, and it's not very much at all. But I'll have to come back and uh, continue building this and building more cool shit in Imperion in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. But don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.